Who has some visitors helping him out today. Dave, who do you uh, have? Uh, I brought my youngest to work today. This is Savina. She just turned 10 the, uh, last week. 10 on uh, on Sunday, right? And this is my uh, my oldest boy. He's in eighth grade, Davey. So Davey and Savina, they're going to help me with the weather, weather day. You guys want to help me? Sure. Sure? Okay. So Dave is going to take take it away. Davey, what are we looking at there first? All right. Here yeah, on the right. Mile High City Cam, we see it's 58 degrees, and we've got very clear, sunny skies with very few clouds. And what's the temperature? 58 degrees. 58 degrees. And Savina's been monitoring the temperature statewide here. Savina, give, take it away there. Well, in Fort Collins, it's 68 degrees, and in Colorado Springs, it's 59. And then we bring it up in Pueblo to 65 degrees. Oh, beautiful. Come back in here, guys. Can I get a high five from you guys? You guys are awesome. Great day with the kids today. Our oldest went with their mom today, so she didn't get to get on TV today, unfortunately. All right, can you guys go say hi to Alan and keep him awake over there? <laughs> Let's take a look at the rest of the forecast. Kind of cool here on the radar and satellite. You can see that uh, big wind-producing front that came through last night. This is the map at midnight. There's the front you see there with a little bit of rain, a little mountain snow sliding through here. Behind it, though, Slightly drier air and cooler air filtering in here, so we've got sunshine right now, but there's just enough moisture that I think with the afternoon heating, we might get an isolated storm going. Here's what the wind did last night. It was right before about 2 o'clock in the morning, up to 46 mile per hour at DIA in the 40s for Fort Collins, Centennial, Erie, Broomfield, and Greeley. It was just rocking in. Right now, not bad. A little breeze in town, but it's still really howling out here on the eastern plains out along the Kansas line out here. Anywhere from 24 in Sterling to 35 in Burlington and Lyme out here so still some wind behind that front here here it is it has some wheels on it man it's already trucking down into texas here another little surge of moisture coming in from wyoming and that's the reason we're going to keep a little chance of a thunderstorm coming our way late in the afternoon and then way out here outside of portland there's another little system that'll be sliding in tomorrow afternoon into saturday morning and that may give us a little better chance of picking up some thunderstorms in the afternoon tomorrow so today here's the way we go with the future cast the green shows uh, some of the showers better chance down south of Alamosa, and we just have a slim chance from Fort Collins into Denver all the way down to Colorado Springs of seeing a few isolated storms this afternoon. High temperatures today, 60s and 70s across the east, but if you remember yesterday, we were in the 70s here in Denver, so we're going to be about 5 to 10 degrees cooler today. So we're going with 65 in the city today and 76 tomorrow. We warm it back up tomorrow, and uh, just an isolated thunderstorm chance with 20% chance of that happening, and then we warm into the 70s on Saturday and on Sunday, and another chance of thunderstorms coming our way. Monday, Alan, will be quite cool with 50s returning and a better chance of rain. Just kind of a wake-up call letting us know, you know, mm -hmm. it's still April. We could still get some business going on. So again, mm -hmm. my junior meteorologist here, what do you think? I think it did an excellent job. I think it did better than you did. Yeah. I mean, they're not telling me that I know it's going to be cool on Monday, are you? <laughs> yeah, no, I know they're both a lot smarter than I am, so I'm, I'm sure they're going to do a good job. Yeah, it's good. Oh, they're great kids. Right. It doesn't fall very far, Dave. They're good oh, kids. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. <laughs> thanks all for right. coming, guys. Appreciate excellent it. Excellent job, you all guys. Right. Hey, we can help you make all your outdoor plans this spring and summer.